Hello and welcome to the Nation of Expo Gaming videos and today we're doing Man City or uh, Southampton, uh, Man City versus Southampton in fact, um, Man City are at home. So just kicking it straight off, Aguero got injured in the third minute and then took another like 8 minutes to uh, be finally stretched off and it looks like it's something wrong with his knee so hopefully it is not like uh, career ending or anything like that or season ending but because uh, uh, Aguero is a good player even though I am United supporter. It would be uh, horrible to see a player go off at the start of the season after probably training so hard in pre-season training to uh, be like forced off in like what three minutes. It's not good even if you are uh, an enemy supporter. And then the person to um, replace him, Balotelli was warming up, but Jeco seemed to came on. Uh, Southampton starting well in the first 15 minutes. They they get they're holding their own. The Man City not scored. Uh, there was a penalty in the 16th minute uh, that Tevez got brought down. Um, obvious penalty, no dive or anything, and Silva hits an absolutely appalling uh, penalty straight at the keeper, and literally it could have been, you could have probably hit it with your hand and still had more power, which uh, is pretty bad. Man City dominating then from the 20 minutes, and Southampton just being forced to play uh, really deep, and then eventually in the 40th minute, Tevez did score in the 40th minute. Um, defeats the offside trap and just gets completely past him as Tevez does and just slots it past the uh, keeper who is Davis. So um, coming into the half time, Man uh, Southampton doing really well since they're the one one only one nil down uh, at half time. Uh, Rodriguez in, uh, came off for Lambert 55 minute. Then uh, it seemed like Southampton got more motivated as Lambert came on. There, there uh, I think it was 27 goals last season that he scored, so he's, he's quite a big motivator for the team. Top goal scorer for them, obviously. And Lambert does score in around about the 50th, uh, 58th to the 60th minute. Um, just bends it around the player, uh, around Joe Hart. It was unbelievable, and it is 1-1. The game was on, and then again Southampton. Literally, probably about five, ten minutes after, Davis scores another sub. Uh, scores another goal making it 2-1 for Southampton it was a beautiful day for Southampton then uh, counter attack from a corner uh, Rod uh, I think it was Rodwell that just kind of just left it like uh, doing too much with it and he got tackled and then the counter attack was on and Davis scores a scorcher past uh, Joe Hart Southampton confidence boosted completely um, it was a very big confidence boost for obviously uh, going up against the winners last year um, Silva did come off for Balotelli Silva I think no, he he just came on. They wanted more attacking play, so it was Balotelli and uh, Balotelli and Jeco up front with Tevez in the midfield, and then in the 72nd minute, Jeco scores. Uh, Jeco scores a goal and smashes it in. Uh, pretty poor defending by um, Southampton, but it was a uh, 2-2. Then uh, Mario, as he came on again, uh, open goal and he misses from six yards. He hits the side netting. I'm not too sure of how true that is, how open it was. But uh, the commentator said he missed an open goal, so I'm assuming that he it was pretty much like either a pass around the keeper where the keeper couldn't get across, and uh, Balotelli has missed it. Uh, City getting back into it then. They started to get their strive with their new player Balotelli on. Uh, they started to see a bit more, a bit more up for it and ready to go for it. Then uh, Najri scores a third goal for City, leaving it 3-2. Uh, Clichy gets a good cross. The, the the goal was coming. You could see it completely. Um, City were doing very good passing. It went out to Clichy, who has got hair now, which is a bit weird. And then a uh, beautiful cross in. Then uh, Nazareth brings it down and fires it into the back of the net. Uh, and also, it was a bad head by Fox. Apparently, he headed it not away, but like to, uh, to Nazareth, which just finished it. Then um, Sharp came on a new signing for Southampton for Jason Punjan. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And then Tevez came off, but he never said who for. So I'm yet to find out. And then Nasri at the end, at the 90th minute plus three minutes, uh, was limping around. And I think he's came off. Um, obviously, he always just carried on for the next couple of seconds and it has finished. So City have just scraped a win there. It was unbelievable, the match. It was very no nail-biting for uh, Southampton fans probably and City just uh, claimed the win and like uh, the commentator said every win counts so hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you again next time bye bye